First, let's verify. Yes, it is completely legal for an employer to impose a vaccine mandate. Our sources are Nick Woodfield, Principal and General Counsel at Employment Law Group, and Lawrence Gostin, a professor of global health law at Georgetown Law. But Prince George's County Public Schools has decided to go another direction, allowing its nearly 3,500 unvaccinated workers in schools, as long as they provide a weekly negative COVID test. The school system is providing free testing at 183 schools and five other sites. But after whistleblowers told WUSA 9 that some unvaccinated workers who had failed to show proof of a negative test were still showing up on the job, the school system admitted to us that their testing program had suffered some, quote, hiccups. Today, the third week of the testing program for unvaccinated workers began. And now in an email to WUSA 9, Prince George's County Public Schools is reporting for the first time that there are employees currently on unpaid leave for not providing the required test results, which is our policy and how the system's intended to work. A school system spokesperson could not provide any numbers about how many. In Prince George's, Donna Christie, the leader of the teachers union, says despite the rough rollout of testing for unvaccinated workers, a mandate would be a bad idea. The fact that we're 94% vaccinated voluntarily shows that we don't, we don't need to mandate it. People will do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. Is it fair to say this school system really can't afford to lose <laughs> any employees right now? Is that fair to report? That is very fair to report. We are very understaffed at this point across the board in a lot of positions. We can't afford to lose employees over uh, you know, a vaccine mandate. The spokesperson for Prince George's County Schools says the goal is to get 100% of the staff vaccinated, but for now, a mandate is not the way the school system's going to go. Scott Broom, WUSA 9.